Hello, everybody. Howdy. Breaking news. This oh. just in. Hot off the press. In fact, it's even dated April 1st, 2016, and today is April 2nd, 2016. <laughs> yep, a Pasta News Network. And this is not a belated April Fool's joke. No, no, it's not. Um, so, we have some information here that just came in with an elder's letter. Jehovah's Witnesses, we know something you don't know. Well, they'll know this, this week. week for your midweek meeting because right. they're directed to read you the first page, but not the second. Yep. So we're going to read you the whole thing. Okay, to all congregations, simplified advanced decision document. Dear brothers, our advanced decision to refuse specified medical treatment document serves as a protection against forced blood transfusions in the case of a medical emergency. And we have ours. We are pleased to inform you that a simplified document, which is easier to complete, has been produced. The simplified document will be provided to each pu baptized publisher at the conclusion of this meeting. Please carefully read and follow the instructions on the document. Adhering to the instructions helps to avoid unnecessary challenges to the legal validity of the document. The legal validity? I think they're so getting sued. So somebody's challenged whether this, whether this was a legal document or not. Well, we know of a brother that died for refusing blood, and the family mentioned that they were going to sue Watchtower. So. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. This comes shortly after that, huh? Yep. Okay. Unnecessary challenges to the legal validity of the document. This simplified document should be completed as soon as possible. As a reminder, you should provide copies of your completed advanced decision document to those who served as witnesses, your general practitioner, and your congregation secretary. Additionally, you may wish a copy Keep a copy with your will and other important documents. We are confident that the simplified advanced decision document will help Jehovah's people worldwide to obey the Bible's command to keep abstaining from blood. And of course, be assured of warm Christian love and witnesses. Oh. Now, page two, which they are not going to read to you. P.S. to Body of Elders. A quantity of simplified advanced decision documents based on the number of baptized publishers in your congregation will be sent to you. Please arrange for this letter to be read to the congregation at the first midweek meeting after the receipt of the documents. So they may not get them this week. They may not get them. They may not get these for another couple of weeks. Yeah. Exactly. Thereafter, the letter should be posted on the notice board. Bold print. This postscript should neither be read to the congregation nor be posted on the notice board. So you've heard it here first. Please note that the simplified document does not address matters of conscience. An individual's personal decisions involving matters of conscience may be included in the space provided for other health care instructions. If brothers request information or assistance with respect to these issues, the Kingdom Ministry insert, How Do I View Blood Fractions and Medical Procedures Involving My Own Blood from the November 2006 is a very helpful point of reference. Available from JW.org. Something how they're referencing something like um, the insert from the Kingdom Ministry back in 2006. That's 10 years ago. That not everybody would have gotten in the first place. That's right, because we were traveling cross, cross country when this insert came out, and we missed it. So we didn't know about the blood fraction change until... After we left? Yeah, un, yeah until several years after. Yeah. yeah. After you have received your supply of the simplified advanced decision documents and the letter has been read to the congregation, supplies of the previous version of this document should be removed from congregation stock and destroyed. Getting rid of more evidence? Yeah. Additionally, use of instructions for fi filling in the advanced decision document has been discontinued. The form has been removed from JW.org and any copies of the congregation file should be destroyed. 
Additionally, we are pleased to advise you that a new form entitled Guidelines for Supporting Those with Medical Needs has been posted to JW.org. It is designed to help you when assisting individual publishers complete the advanced decision document and when assisting those in specific circumstances that might involve the blood issue. At this time, each elder with a JW.org account should print copies of the form and have them available for use in case of an emergency. The congregation secretary should remind each elder to do so and should provide a copy for any elder who does not have a JW.org account. Now what's interesting about this um, is uh, they have a thing here. It says the secretary should be sure to provide newly baptized publishers with the following materials. Advanced decision document. How do I view blood fractions and medical procedures involving my own blood? The November 2006 Kingdom Ministry insert. And are you ready to face a faith-challenging medical situation? From the 1991 Kingdom Ministry insert. It's interesting that they have to make sure now every newly baptized person has yeah. these. Hmm. Yeah. Almost what like they're they get, trying to cover their ass. Almost like they get caught with their shorts down. Yeah. Now this was interesting also because in large bold print subheading it says give special attention and offer assistance to the following individuals. The first one underneath that is pregnant sisters. Or well, do you think this has something to do with the two sisters that lost their lives here a, a year or so ago because of refusing blood? Did the family sue Watchtower because the old medical directive got trumped? by something. When we get to the point, I'll read what I think is the biggest change with the medical directive. Yeah. Now it's interesting because they started off with the pregnant sisters. A care plan for women in labor refusing a blood transfusion should be requested from the local HLC. So this tells me that this is a document or something that they have now for pregnant women. Because mm -hmm. remember last year, we did a video where they were wanting to know any sister that was pregnant. Right. So this has just been kind yeah. of an ongoing thing. But, um, yeah. Um, let's see. Give them your contact information, the name of your congregation, name of your hospital, email, the expected date of delivery, details regarding her husband's spiritual status. Now why would they need to know why that? Why would they need that? Did because that get trumped? Did, uh, did, did husband override blood document? Previous blood document? Could be. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Now we will have this available, you know, just have to contact us. Yes. Okay, dinner's burning, so we're going to be real, real quick. Quick. <laughs> yeah, here's the medical, yeah, I've, I've got steaks on the grill. So here's the medical directive. The thing that stands out to me the most, having had one in my wallet for 40-something years, line item number two, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses with firm religious convictions, with full realization of the implications of this position that I direct no transfusion of blood or primary components, red cells, white cells, plasma, or platelets, be administered to me in any circumstances. I also refuse to pre-donate my blood for later infusion. So that one sounds a whole lot different than what I remember. Line item number three, and I think this is a biggie, folks. No lasting power of attorney nor any other document that may be in force shall be taken as given authority to disregard or override my instructions set forth herein. Family members, relatives, or friends may disagree with me, but any such disagreement does not diminish the strength or substance of my refusal of blood or other instructions. And then point four goes on with the end of life matters, whether you choose to prolong your life or not prolong it. And then five regarding health uh, health care and welfare instructions, and then there's a line for that. But line item number two and line item number three, Interesting. if I recall, 
are huge and significant changes, which leads me to believe that in recent cases of Jehovah's Witnesses dying because of blood transfusions, I think, and it's very likely, that Watchtower is fighting legal battles because of the way the old um, medical directive cards were written. And it sounds to me like family and friends have yeah. trumped Watchtower now. Yeah. Um, in their list of who needs to contact the HLC, they also have those with any uh, diagnosed with any type of cancer yes. because it may interfere, you know, with uh, blood yeah. medical issues. So anyway, we're gonna go grab some lunch. And I'm gonna go see if the steaks are ready. Yes. <laughs> so we'll talk to you later. Thank and, you for, uh, for watching. Yeah. And you all have a great day. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.